So you've got yourself a run cam with really lousy audio. Today I'll show you how to fix that up super easy. Welcome back to the channel guys. I've got my run cam 2 here and I love this camera but the audio is just horrible on this thing on my quadcopters. It's just a constant roar. Today we'll do a quick and easy modification to fix that right up. First, if you're going to do this, it's pretty simple. Go ahead and take the screws out of your run cam. There's six of them in total and just disassemble it quick and easy. Make sure you take your back battery cover off as well as remove the battery before you disassemble it. You just pop the case apart and a little shake should dislodge the board. Easy. Once we got our board, we need to take the camera cable off and do a little bit more work. Get the camera cable off, you're just going to have to pop this little black tab that just sandwiches the ribbon. We're going to need that again, and now the ribbon should slide right out. Then we have our board. Down here on the end of the board is the electric microphone that we're wanting to deal with here. What we're going to do is we're going to solder a resistor across these terminals carefully. The resistor is going to attenuate the audio for us and knock it down so that we don't have that severe clipping. It's too bad we couldn't do this in firmware, but I'm not aware of a firmware fix that works on these. I'll put all these parts in the description below, but simple 330 ohm 0805 surface mount resistor. Don't be scared about doing surface mount. These are tiny, tiny, but this is not hard. I'm going to go ahead and get one of our resistors out of the packaging here. You can just sort of push these through as well or peel the plastic, whatever suits you best. And there is our resistor. Now I know that looks ridiculously tiny, but we can work with it. This is no problem. What we're going to do is we're going to take and we're going to slightly tin the leads just a little bit more with some leaded solder because this is probably lead free on there. Clean our iron. Tin the tip of our iron. Apologize for my shakiness in advance, but this is uh, small stuff. Careful you don't bridge the leads, and if you do, no big deal, we can fix that. We just suck it back off with our solder sucker or some wick. There we go. Those look good. We'll take our itty bitty teeny tiny resistor in a pair of tweezers and then we're going to set it across the two terminals that we've tinned. And when we get it across them, we're just going to touch one side. When you're done, if you held your tongue just right, you'll be left with something like this. You can see the tiny little 330 ohm resistor across there. Make sure you didn't bridge ground or the case of the microphone. And you can also use a, a through hole resistor here, but I find the SMD ones, even though it's tiny and fiddly, it's such a better job than trying to find room inside the case for a through hole resistor. These 0805s, perfect fit. It's just like it was meant to be there. If you want to take your meter and measure across, you should come up with around 250 ohms thereabouts across to make sure that you haven't shorted it. If you get zero or like one ohm, you've shorted it and you better fix it. Assembly is just as simple as reversing the disassembly. It's pretty easy. Slide it into the case, slide your ribbon in, go ahead and put the retaining clip on, and then go ahead and put the four screws in. Uh, it's a little fiddly to get this ribbon in at times. You just have to make sure that you bring it in nice and level. Don't kink it and nothing to it. It should slide in with zero force. It should just 
kind of float right into its little home. And uh, yeah, go ahead and put the retaining clip across and put the screws back in. That'd be a good time to go ahead and just make sure everything is working. So go ahead and put your battery back in, close it up, and we'll see if it works. Power it up. With any luck, everything's happy. Sure is. Looks good. Go ahead and put your lens protector back on. Just the two screws and you're good to go. Take this out and give it a try and see how your audio works. Enjoy the, the much, much greatly reduced roar of the wind and other sounds. The, the clipping should be much better. I hope this helps someone. Give this, uh, give this video a like. Throw a comment down below. I'd love to hear from you guys. Enjoy, uh, enjoy your new run cam. I'm Eric from the Make Me Lab. I'll see you next video.